ladies and gentlemen, Rob here with Deluxe Gaming, and welcome back to Stonehearth Alpha 22, and of course, the lens of Snowflake and all of the snowflakes that live within. <laughs> so we have lots to do today, so let's get right to it. So first things first, I really, we really need a cleric. I mean, if we're playing on hard, honestly, the sooner we get this cleric, the better. And there's a few things we need to do to get this cleric. First of all, we need to have a herbalist level two, which won't be a problem. She is busy working on, Cloud is working on building many, many potions. So it won't be long before he, she, before she reaches level two. However, in order to get the clerics two, we need to have bolts of leather. Leather is a little bit more interesting to build. We're going to have to, of course, have a weaver. And then the weaver is going to have to have all three workbenches because we need all three workbenches for the leather. You need the spinner to build, spin the yarn. And then you need the, the, the workbench to build the leather. And you need the, yeah, you need the whole thing. You need the whole kit and caboodle. So uh, next thing is I want to make sure that we have an archer's bow as soon as possible too, because of course, once again, we're working on hard. So let's get a couple of things built. Let's get the weaver sp spindle built so that we can actually assign a weaver. Now, <laughs> originally I was thinking Mr. Gears was going to make an excellent engineer because Mr. Gears, that makes sense, right? Totally makes sense. However, I think Mr. Gears is going to make an excellent weaver instead. Ooh, daily update. Oh, so close. Oh, 1633 net worth. You know what? On that note, uh, we're going to pause it really quickly and take a look at our construction because it's, it's soon, the sooner we get this construction going, the sooner we'll be able to get that net worth up to par. So I've just, I made some interesting design choices here. I'm, I'm changing my mind because I do that. I do that quite often. We're going to get rid of these stilts. The stilts are completely useless. I thought maybe doing some stilts might be kind of interesting. Like it would look interesting, but it's, it's silly and it's actually going to limit the ability to make this taller in the future if we decide to do so because we can only have stilts in certain places and then we you know, we just won't be able to put the stairs on top of, you know, we just won't be able to place as many stairs. But if we remove the stilts and then we just rely on, you know, hopefully strong construction and possibly bending the, the rules of physics, <laughs> we might be able to get those stairs, you know, just sitting out in the middle of nowhere without having to worry about having stilts underneath them. I don't like building things that don't make sense. So I, you know what, we could do a little bridge in between. Yeah, I have, I have an idea. We'll do a little bridge in between each one of these little structures and we should be able to make this work in the end after all. So we're gonna get rid of these stilts. Perfect, that's done. Perfect, so they enter the building. They're gonna be able to enter the building on the bottom side through a door right here. So we're gonna put the door right here. Yes, they enter in and then if they want to go to the next level, they have to go up these stairs through here and then into the door there. And then if they want to go to the next level they have to go out the door on this side and then up the stairs so as far as the stairs go here i think we're going to build i don't know exactly what color that is uh I th we're going to build a little a little pathway yeah so we can actually place the stairs on the little yeah the little bridge brother it's a little bridge it's not a pathway it's a bridge yeah so there's a little bridge in the in-between that we can place the stairs on yeah that'll look pretty cool i like that i like that idea there we go and i guess you know we won't defy we won't defy the laws of nature and physics <laughs> We'll make sure that it actually has something to rest on so it doesn't uh, look silly. And then we'll place the stairs right here. Perfect. Just like so. That'll look great. And then we're going to do another layer, another level up top here. Going to make sure it looks sort of the same as the other levels. Yeah, that looks right. Perfect. Then all the way across and around. And I think we'll only go, whoops, uh, undo. <gasps> and then I think we'll only go three high for now. Um, it, I think, I think they've made it so that you can add on to buildings without a problem. I'm hoping, I'm hoping, I'm hoping. Um, and then this final level, I'd love to put some roof tops on here. You know what we're going to do? Actually, we'll, we'll do a roof on here for now. We're just going to do a flat roof. Very simple. Nothing fancy. Um, because it, this, it, this is not the end of the building. I'm hoping that we can actually add on to this building later. That's my goal anyway. So we're gonna do we're gonna do some slab crafting roof. The thing is we can't take off the roof that we put on here. Ah, oh, balls. Yeah. Ah oh, man. Okay, hold on. Let me, let's let's build the next level here. So before we go any further, let's build the next level. I think it was Morocco Brown that we used for this. Uh yeah, that looks pretty close. Yeah, sure. Sure. We'll call it Morocco Brown. <laughs> So we're going to go all the way up. Just want to make sure it's matching. Uh, I think that went too high. Too, too high there. So two. Remove two. There we go. Beautiful. Whoops. I don't know what happened there. Weird. Okay. It teleports you sometimes. So how many is that? That is... Uh, it's weird. It gets all... It's, it gets hard to see sometimes. One, two, three, four, five, 
six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so we'll do that all the way around. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Too bad you can't stretch and pull these to make them... You know, like like with other games where you could just take one end and then pull it so that you can stretch it out as far as you want. And then, you know, rather than having to place every individual block when you're doing slab crafting, like there's, I know they're working on some of this stuff right now. Actually, right this minute, they're actually working on some of the, uh, the, the, the ways to make it easier to build structures and stuff. So I don't know. It's kind of exciting. So and then on top of that, we're going to do another floor slash roof here. There. That's good. I like that. Excellent. There, and then the, the building feels kind of semi-complete for now. I, I will probably add on to this later. I'm tempted to add a roof on the in-between as well. What do you think, guys? I think we should add a roof on the in-between. Yeah, but in order to do that, I'm actually going to remove this, 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 and this little platform here. And we're going to make it, because we want to sort of have it all matching, we're going to add this layer like so. Yeah, that looks better. Perfect. And we're going to do the same thing here. Yeah, no, we just added these and then I'm removing the balls. And I removed the wrong one. That always happens. So we're going to add another layer like that. I know it's not, I don't know. I, it's not really what I imagined. I imagined it looking far more funky than that, actually, to be honest with you. <laughs> You're like, more funky? Yeah, yeah. I wanted to make it look like really, really weird and funky. But the neat thing about this is I, I guess we could also have, you know, we could do like, we could do like um, some trades. Like we could do the weaver on, on the second level kind of thing. You know, that'd be kind of cool. That'd be kind of neat. Uh, I'm not going to do it right now. I, I will just keep this as is for right now. Uh, so up and... Oh, yes. Okay, so... Oh, where'd my stairs go? I was like, what? Something doesn't make sense. What? The stairs just vanished? Unless I accidentally deleted it, but that was weird. I think it just vanished. There we go. That makes more sense. There, they can get to the next level and the next level. Excellent. Perfect. And I'm happy with that. Now, the reason I wanted to get this done now, or at least get it started now, is so that we get some... Well, some town wells. So we're going to build that. We're going to, yes, start building. It's all wood, so that should build fairly easily. And let's move on. Perfect. Oh, good. All of the hearthlings are eating. Enjoy your meal. Uh, should we, can we harvest the rest of this? Okay, so there's, okay, that's it. That's all we can harvest here. So now we should have our weaver. Did we, we built our spindle. So let's assign Mr. Gears as the town weaver. Character sheet. Uh, whoops. Uh, whoops, my bad. <laughs> Oh, 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 no. Calling set destroyed object. Uh-oh. Uh, man, getting weird errors already? Not good. Oh, man, I, I, I'm, ah, balls. Someday Stone Hearth will actually, you know, play properly, hopefully. Okay, so let's try that again. We're going to go to Mr. Gears, and we're going to assign Mr. Gears as, uh-oh. What's going on? Oh no. All right, well, I'm gonna try to reload this, I guess. Man, okay, be right back. Okay, we're back. Had some weird errors here, but it looks like we got it figured out. All right, so it's all working. All right, so let's push this spindle up to priority one so that we can get that done, so that we can assign Mr. Gears as, so Mr. Gears, maybe that's part of Mr. Gears' story. I don't know, Mr. Gears had always aspired to be an engineer, however, had a knack for sewing. I love it, I love it. So we'll include that next time, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> Perfect. So we're building our spindle. Let's get that done right away. And they are building this structure now, or did they stop? Finish editing. Build. Maybe there was a problem with the building. They don't like the building. They don't like my my design choices. They're like, ooh, this is terrible. But they, it looks like they built the stairs and then they left. Very, very bizarre. <laughs> All right. So they're building that finally. Excellent. So we've got our spindle, go spindle going. Let's change Mr. Gears into the Weaver. Approve. Yes. So she can go back. I, I can't tell who's a she or a he. I guess that's a she. Mr. Gears is a she. So confusing because her name is Mr. Gears. <laughs> Poor Mr. Gears. She's so confused. That's okay. Eventually you'll figure out who you are and decide what you want to be. <laughs> All right. So she's got the weaver spindle. So now with the weaver spindle, we are going to build, and I don't know what the process is to build leather. So to build leather, we're going to need, we're going to need yarn. To build yarn, we're going to have to have a spinning wheel. So can I just build the spinning wheel? And then I think to build the leather, we're going to have to have the weaver's workbench. So we're going to build that right away as well. So we'll get those done. We'll speed it up a little bit so that she builds those right away. There we go. So, uh, yes, we can start placing those. I guess we can slow it down again. Let's place those. Perfect. So there's the spinning wheel. Rotate. Ah, balls. I did it again. 
every single time. I've got to change those keys, man. I've got to change those keys. So that, and then we're going to rotate. <laughs> we'll have it facing everything because that makes more sense. And then we've got the Weaver's Workbench. We'll place that down. And then we should be able to build spills or spools of thread. We will build three of those. And then after that, we, can we just build the bolts of leather? I think so. So we'll build three bolts of leather. Is that it? I think I think that that's it. Perfect. Yeah, so she's building the, the, the uh, thread now. We should be able to build the bolt of leather after that. And then, theoretically, we should be able to build the cleric's tomb. We only need one piece of leather for that. So we'll put that up as top priority. Because I think getting that cleric up is so, so, so very important. And uh, we let's just check our... The level of our dude... Uh, we need a carpenter's workbench. Right, so let's get that built. Carpenter's workbench. We're going to prioritize that so we can get that done soon. And then we should be able to build the archer's bow right away. Uh, as soon as we get that leather, of course, which will happen very, very quickly. Excellent! And then tomorrow, the big day tomorrow, we should get a new brand spanking new hearthling for Castle Snowflake because we should have more than enough wealth because we're actually building this building. Now, this building will house our beds and possibly, you know, maybe in the future, I don't know, maybe we will do like the trades on the second levels or something. We'll do like, uh, we'll do like a ramp going across or I don't know how they're going to get up there, actually. Uh, we could do a, la a ladder going up. I don't know. <laughs> Seems kind of silly that we have stairs going up for, you know, the, the beds, but then ladders going up for the workstations. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Ah, Weaver level, level one already? <laughs> Weaver level one already? Wow, that is amazing. So did we get the leather? Hold on. Did we have leather already? That is crazy. Super fast. Fast worker. Excellent. So we're actually working on the leather right now. Perfect. And let's just see. Uh, you know what? I think what we're going to do is we're going to start removing these ladders that are scattered around the countryside. So we'll, uh, going from the outside in, right? Uh, otherwise, we'll get uh, we'll screw ourselves. So let's get rid of that ladder. Let's get rid of this ladder. Because I don't think there's anything outside here that we need anymore. I don't think so. That way, uh, there's just less directions that... Uh, fewer directions that the monsters can attack us. So we'll remove this ladder as well. Excellent. That ladder, that ladder. And there's nothing else that I want that's down here anymore, I don't think. No monsters in the countryside. Wow, actually, so far, so good. But we do have extra swords. Oh, speaking of swords, trader back in eight hours. Oh, for our breastplate, seven wooden swords. Perfect. And then we have another trader. Let's see, what did they, what did they, uh, two comfy beds for five simple wooden chairs. Perfect. And I think we did build those wooden chairs. Pretty sure. I see them. Yes, well, we have lots of simple wooden chairs. Fen freaking fantastic Perfecto. And then our... Uh, what are we short? Herbalist level 2. So she's still not Herbalist level 2. Oh, we are actually short on... You know what? We're going to have to build some extra... I'm just going to build an extra 20 potions. Because as soon as, as soon as of course, this character becomes a cleric, she's not going to be able to build any more potions anyway. So, of course, we need to get Cloud... Uh, oh, perfect. Hold on. This is great. We can actually sell. We've got a trader, so we can actually sell a whole bunch of lanterns because we're in the lantern business right now. Oh, look at we've got a whole bunch of fine wall lanterns. We've got fine garden lanterns. I think we're going to sell. We're just going to sell everything here. We're going to sell them all so we can make that extra gold. Perfect. All of those are gone. I'm going to sell now. Nah, we're going to not going to sell the good chair. I'm going to sell a couple of the... Oh, actually, we don't want to sell any more swords because we can use those. Uh, we've got a we've got a trader coming back for some of those anyway. But and now we can probably what can we buy? Oh, we can buy some worker outfits. We could build them too, but it's I don't know. I'd almost rather oh we could buy some spools of thread too and bolts of cloth. Hmm, tempting. I am going to buy. We could buy the bolts of cloth. Uh, 20 gold a piece, though. You know, I, I'd rather. I think it's actually just a better idea buy the outfits, worker outfits. Uh, there's only one here anyway. Then we've got a w winter worker outfit. Heavy wool coat for winter nights. What? Is there seasons in here now? What? No. And then padded vest. Ah, yes, we will buy the padded vest as well. You know what? We're just going to get all of these. Sure. Sure. Some, winker, uh, some worker outfits as well as some uh, padded vests for our warriors. Now, with those two breastplates, you know, we almost... We need another... Uh... Yeah, so he got... Yeah, Fellboy already picked up his, uh, already picked up the padded armor. And I think the padded armor works with, I don't know, let's just see. I just want to take a look at it. Uh, level one footman. Let's just see here. Let's go to your equipment. Padded vest. 
Um, yeah, I can't. I, I don't know if the padded vest actually works with the archer as well. I don't think so. Uh, so, you know, we're getting the breastplates and stuff. You know, it's, it's not going to go to waste because we're going to have lots of footmen and stuff in the future, just given that we're playing on hard. Oh, look at them. They're building it away. Fantastic. Oh, wonderful. You know what? We, I don't think we put a floor down on this side. I, I know that's right because it's all on stilts on this side. That's fine. That's fine. It'll be perfectly fine. Let's speed it up a little bit. Let them build as quickly as I can. Wonderful. It's coming together. Ooh, Avi the Cat Tamer. Trapper level four already? Backpack size plus two. Very, very nice. Avi, uh, I'm just wondering, Avi? Is this Avi? Uh, no, that's Mr. Gears. Oh, Mr. Gears is grabbing some food or something. Um, now, Avi, you should have multiple pets right now. I wonder if it actually shows... Let's go to here. I'm just curious. Avi, you should have... Uh, Oh, Ow, Avi would have made a great crafter. <laughs> At the heart of a crafter, I'm not assigning people the right jobs. That is for sure. So does that actually show Avi's, Avi's animals here? It doesn't. Oh, that's too bad. Because she's got a uh, charm pet. So she, and I think I saw Avi with a, uh, with a rabbit. Not that long ago. Avi, did, I thought I saw you with a rabbit. Maybe not. I, I know I see here. There, that's your, we've got a couple pet foxes. Jasper, <laughs> befriended by Xandercroft. And we've got uh, Tal... Tails, tails, befriended by Abby. Oh, that's so cool. Trader returns for our breastplates. Perfect. We've got those, and they should appear here. Excellent. Bronze breastplates. fan freaking tastic. Making huge progress now. And actually, I don't know if these affect our town wealth or wealth or not. I think if they're in inventory, they do. I don't know if they, if they're wearing them. If it affects their if our it affects our wealth. I'm not quite sure. I guess we'll find out. Oh, look at this. Oh, fantastic. They actually did finally finish digging out. Um, those two blocks that were here. And then this one, it looks like they didn't finish this one on this side. So we're actually going to have to build another ladder. At least they did finish building them or finish digging those out. Perfect. Perfect. So as long as, as soon as we get that next one dug out, we can actually start digging out all of this area, which will be very nice. Oh, and perfect. We can actually harvest the rest of this stuff. It's great because we're making use of those that silkweed right away too. And of course, the flowers for potions. How long until cloud... Oh, level three, level two. Oh, I see. Uh, level two her list. But now, technically, technically, uh, let's just check our build cues here. Technically, our herbalist should be able to build the... Yeah, requires... Uh, we need some flowers. All right, so we can place that up at the top now. So we can build that cleric's tomb anytime we like. We're not going to build it. We're going to build it when we need it, right? Oh, and more people. Yay, we get a new hearthling. Zed Winset. <laughs> Hello, Zed. Uh, let's just pause it. Uh, Zed, you're going to have trouble getting home. Yes. So uh, why would they appear somewhere where they have no access to? Yeah, okay. So we're going to have to... He's actually going to have to build a ladder over here <laughs> in order for us... For in order for him to actually get to the village. Perfect. There you go, Zed. And actually, Zed, we're going to rename you right away. Uh-oh. Invader's approaching. <gasps> Uh-oh. Are you chasing Zed? What are you? Oh. Oh, no. We can't handle him. Oh, no. We're... Oh, no, I, mean, I need to take down that ladder as soon as he gets home. Oh, that's not good. Uh-oh. <laughs> Build the ladder! Build the ladder! Okay, now remove the ladder. Remove the ladder right now. Hold on. I can't prioritize anybody to remove that, uh, remove that ladder. How are we supposed to deal with that golem? Oh, we need to take down that ladder, like, now. Oh, we can't. Oh, come on. How do we... Ah, oh, we can't. Oh, that's so frustrating. Uh, uh, hmm. Somebody else is coming out to remove that ladder, maybe? They're not going to make it here in time. There's no way. How, we, can't, we can't deal with this golem. There's no way. How do we kill a, a stone golem on hard right now with only two warriors? The, there's just no, there's no feasible way to do that. And why is she carrying materials over here? To remove the ladder? What? I don't understand. Okay, uh, let's pause it. Oh, this is not good. Like, that's... This is ridiculous. How do we deal with a stone golem at this point in the game? Maybe... I wonder. Can we build that archer's bow yet? Carpenter's bench. So we need to place a carpenter's bench. Let's do that. <laughs> this is not good at all. Not good at all. We're going to rotate this sucker so that it's... Kind of, I don't know, it doesn't really matter, I guess. We'll get that down, and then maybe maybe we can shoot it. Uh, but the, seriously, there's just, I don't know what to do. Um, we can take care of the little golem without too much trouble, I don't think. 
let's get them out here to deal with him. Uh, I guess, I guess removing the ladder is important, but not that important. Why is, it looks like Cloud's actually losing health. Just, okay, Cloud, can you actually, can I actually make you a cleric now? Yes, I can. Cloud, go become a cleric. There we go. That will help out tremendously. Perfect. All right, and actually pause. What we're going to do, since we've got so many extra swords kicking around, we're going to assign a whole bunch of random people as warriors. So, for example, Mythopoop Poopstick, with only two health, you are actually going to become a temporary footman. Or footwoman, I guess. And then we're going to make... Uh, Dank me. we're going to make you a temporary footman as well, so change jobs. Temporary footman, since we've got the extra swords, we might as well, and we're going to need all the help we can get right now. And then we've got, uh, Zed, ooh, Zed, actually, you know what? Zed, we are going to change your name first, Zed, because I have a name for you. Zed, your new name shall henceforth be Tomato, <laughs> or Tomato, depending on how you like to pronounce it, but Tomato! I like Tomato. Tomato sounds better. There we go, Tomato. We will, of course, find you a backstory at some point. You look like you'll make an excellent crafter, possibly. Oh, you'd also make an excellent warrior. I think we need warriors actually more so than crafters right now. I don't even, I have no idea how we're going to deal with this golem. I don't know, but everybody get in there, get your swords, and maybe we can, together we can actually defeat this golem. I don't know if that's going to be possible. We have a cleric. Yay, there we've got a cleric, fantastic. We've got a couple extra warriors. Very, very nice. Get to work, guys. Uh, and why is, Cloud, don't, don't run. Cloud, don't run. Uh, yeah, look at this, we're, uh, who is that? Uh, Phil Boy is actually in serious trouble. Phil, let's get you over here. Run away, Phil. Yay, we've got a healer. Oh, fan freaking tastic Oh, lovely. Uh-oh, uh, yeah. Uh, looks like Angri is in trouble. Let's get Angri out of out of harm's way. <laughs> and then our new temporary soldiers. Actually, this is working great. Some temporary soldiers. I love it. I love it. So it's like the town militia. They can pick up swords anytime they want. Ooh, tomatoes low in health. That's okay. Tomato, heal up. <laughs> Lovely. Oh, that is great. And, well, I'm just gonna pause it here for a second. We should be able to build, dun dun dun, the archer's bow, perfect. And we're gonna assign uh, Phil Boy as the archer right away. Cause we have lots of, lots of town militia when it's necessary. Perfect. And he's, oh, oh wow, come on, kill him, kill him. Beautiful, good job, guys, good job. That was actually really great. <laughs> Fantastic, okay, let's, us unassigned everybody. Um, so we're going to change jobs. You are going to go back to being a lowly worker. But you did excellent. You picked up that sword and you fought like a true hero. Actually, you know, even, I don't know, Tomato? Hmm, Tomato, are we going to keep you as a warrior? I'm not sure. I'm going to think about that for a second. So then we've got another warrior, or another non-warrior here. And then Fellboy Angry. I think, Tomato, we might keep you as a warrior. I do, I do want to have another crafter right now. I need another crafter, like, right now. Although... Although, we could use Dank Meme. I don't know, I'd rather have somebody with a higher value. I, what we need, what we desperately need right now is somebody to do some masonry work. Uh, Dank, we could change you. Uh, do we, oh, we don't have a mason's. Hold on, the mason, where is the mason? Uh, uh, Mason. Okay, that's the Mason there. So, let me just think here. <laughs> Actually, good job, guys. I'm so proud of you. Good job. So, should we make... What we could do is we could make... We could uh, demote Cloud to being a healer again so she continues to build potions. That's kind of not a terrible idea. What are these guys doing? They're, they're, they're like... Oh, I see. They're hanging out near Cloud while she heals. Yeah, that's right. Uh, Cloud actually is going to be very, very busy as a healer, I think. So that's probably a good idea to keep her keep her on as that. So, uh, but we do need we do need a mason right away because then we can get some hammers going too. Um. Oh, actually, Fell Boy. Guess what, Fell Boy? Are you level three yet? No, you're not level three. As soon as you're level three, I believe we can change you to an archer. Yes. So level three. Yes. Perfect. So very, very soon. Very, very soon. And in the meantime, I think, you know what? We are going to turn dank meme. You're not going to be in, mm, I don't know. I don't know. I guess three isn't bad for mind. 
You know what? We are going to make Dank Meme. We're going to make Dank Meme our Mason. Sure, why not? And we'll we'll add a story behind why Dank, be be uh, Dank Meme became a Mason because Dank Meme never intended to have a career like that. Dank Meme was happy being a lowly worker, but, you know, the town, it was desperation. Ooh, four wooden sword, sword we get four bolts of cloth. You know what? I am going to accept that because that's actually not a bad deal. We'll build a couple more wooden swords. You know, it pays to have extra wooden swords, as we've just proven. <laughs> Delightful. One, two, three, four... Excellent, so we'll get a cup, four more of those. And what are these guys doing? Just chatting? They're like, yeah, that was a great fight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mr. Gears, Weaver, yay. And Abby the Cat Tamer having a good chat, getting to know each other. Wonderful. Now, we should be able to place the... Oh, actually, we should be able to build the workshop for the Mason. So let's get that down. Mason's workshop. Very, very simple. Can we do both? Uh, sure, we can get... Oh, it has to be Mason level three. That's fine. We can get a queued up anyway. And then we need to get... Some, uh, I guess we gotta build a some, uh, whole bunch of things before we can actually get to a point where we can build the hammers. We need to get Mason level 3. So, what shall we build? Let's build a whole bunch of tower brazier. No, we can't. We can't. Uh, we can build bird baths. <laughs> we build stone benches. You know what? Let's build a whole bunch of stone benches. We're gonna need them for the castle anyway. Oh, uh, we need a Mason's workbench place. Yeah, well, we can get these, uh, we're gonna craft, like, I don't know, 10 of those. We can always sell the surplus anyway. And we need, let's build... Stone tunnel doors. You know what? We're going to need one of those for sure. And we're going to need... Can I build any of these things here? No, I can't yet. But let's get the let's get the hammers queued. We're going to need some copper ore for that. We're going to have to craft... We're going to craft five hammers. And we're going to need copper ore. And I do know that there's some copper ore over here. Perfect. We'll dig that out in a second. And uh, let's get down the workbench. Do that right now. Uh, oh, he hasn't even built it yet. Oh, everybody's eating. Well, wonderful. Good, good, good. Actually, our food stock pile is building up nicely. How's our building coming? It's going to be a little bit slower because, of course, we took another work for, worker out of the work for us, but that's okay. Yeah, but we're actually we're moving along quite nicely now. If we, we just have to get Fellboy up to level three. So a couple more good fights. Is there anything that we can scrap with in the woods here? Sometimes there's odd monsters. Oh, there's a goblin camp over here. Ooh, shall we attack the goblin camp? Do you think we have enough with our three warriors? Do you think we have enough to take care of that? Hold on, we have four warriors. Oh, right, we have Tomato! Tomato! Tomato is also a warrior in our group. Actually, I'm just curious. Has anybody uh, been high enough, actually, now to pick up... Oh, yeah, so Fellboy and Angri probably have the new armor. Padded vest. Well, they should be they should be high enough level to put on the, the breastplates, I think. You th I think it's only level two footmen. Um, Fellboy, and we need to get that last... We need to get that last level for him. So what I'm going to do is we're going to send out, since we've got a healer now anyway, let's send them out to attack this goblin camp. I guess we'll add a, uh, we'll add the uh, ladder over here. Perfect. And we'll go attack this goblin camp and get some more experience points. Is there a chest over here too? It's always fun to attack goblins. Oh, invaders are protein. Never mind. They're coming to us. <laughs> Perfect. Oh, zombies. Oh, I love zombies. Zombies and skeletons. Skellions and zombies. Excellent. Let's attack them and get some experience points. Perfect. Send out the troops. Delightful. Let's go, guys. See, where's the cleric? Cleric's coming. Oh, man, the cleric makes all the difference in the world. Having, I think, having four warriors right off the bat, I think we'll keep Tomato. Tomato will make an excellent warrior. <laughs> and also, great name. We can make an excellent backstory with that. We didn't do a backstory today, but we will do a couple next time. I love it. Oh, very nice. Oh, yeah, just smoking him. Ah, the cleric is so good. The cleric is everything, you know, just... It just means everything when it comes to combat, is having that healer, you know? Just like just like when you're playing your good RPGs. The good RPGs, you have a cleric. You always need to have a healer in the group. Wonderful! Uh, Fellboy, you know, I really want to try out... So there's something new in Stonehearth. Um, when a character goes down, they actually don't die right away. They can be saved. I kind of want to experiment with it a little bit. Not that I want Fellboy to go down necessarily, but I would like to see how that works. You know what, Fellboy? I'm going to have you run the other way. No point in running that way, because then you have to walk back through them if you, you know, need to escape, escape. Lovely. Ah, there we go. Beautiful. Angri has reached Footman level 2. I guess they actually hadn't reached foot, uh, level level 2 Footman, so that uh, they could uh, put on that breastplate anyway. The breastplate will make all the difference. Angri is going to stay as a Footman, or maybe he'll become a knight. I'm not sure yet. Depends on his bravery, I suppose. Only the bravest of brave become knights. 
<laughs> uh, lovely. Well, at least we got one level here. I don't think Fellboy got her level. That's too bad. Well, she'll get it next time. Ladies and gentlemen, that's all the time I have. This is coming together. Ah, uh, look at this. It's beautiful. Beautiful. Our first structure going up. Our bunkhouse. And then we can get our beds and doors, which will make people happy. Speaking of happiness, how is our happiness? Oh, we do have some unhappy people here. So tired. Oh, just some tired people. They need some sleep. Meal was raw, idle hands. Yeah, we're going to get all these things resolved. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you're enjoying the series. I'm loving this. It's slow. I like it kind of moving along at a slower pace this time. I'm enjoying it, actually. It's really, really fun. I love it. And I'm focusing sort of more on the individual characters. Like, I'm getting to know our characters so much more than we did last time. Building the backstories is really fun, but we will do more of those next time. All right, ladies and gentlemen, take care. Bye, 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 bye.